Hello. So today I am continuing to draw my fall collection. Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. Tell me what are you doing at home? Today I'm drawing a uh, another illustration for my fall collection and yesterday I want to come out here to draw the mermaid but um, I, I made a TikTok instead so if you want to see my mermaid drawing from yesterday you can see in my profile I really liked it maybe I can show you the original from here If you have seen me see my live before also can you please let me know want to see how many are how many of you come back to watch me draw so yeah so this will be my fall collection which is very exciting i am uh, collaborating with a uh, a well-known artist this time so I will be drawing my part she will be drawing her part it will be a fun collaboration I can't wait to share with you what's that who, who that would be so before I come to this live I have I've done this pencil sketch and I made a a rough concept of what she looks like so i decided to draw her with like black hair fair skin some more, more like uh, thinking that she is um have an asian background i don't draw enough asian girl a lot of people <laughs> tell me that and um my drawing is uh I feature different ethnicity and diversity so it's important for me to draw everyone so i don't know if you can see but i can lower it so you can see my drawing the reason i erase it so it doesn't pick up the pencil line because copic tend to pick up those lines a lot so i erase it to a very light pencil line so it doesn't affect my drawing coloring I always like to start with the head the face if you can hear background playing at the Sharon so this fall collection is about it, it, the whole like color palette, whole concept is about England, about Ireland, those type of uh, vibe. A lot of uh, plaid pattern. Those are my um, main color palette for this collection. Then I'm going to draw her hair. So she's since she's Asian, I decided to draw her with a dark, like black and dark brown hair. I use markers. If you are curious what tool I use, I use Copic markers. I color hair I like to use long long stroke hair 
like this. Like this. For some reason, looks like red, but actually it's brown color on my, uh, like with all the screen. It's funny that you, from the screen, it looks like reddish. I'm gonna continue finish color the hair. I like to add a little band, hair band on her. It's cute. So first time I layer it, first uh, I start just layer the hair and then I will use a darker color to go in and uh, add a shadow. Add some like loose hair strand to make the hair looks more natural. Like this. Then I'm adding a darker hair, a darker color for shadows. see this I'm just using the darker Copic to add more uh, shadow around the hair to make more layers like this so you can see the layer and then after that I will use a white pencil to do the highlights so three, three steps to draw the hair. At least that's my process. I love to draw hair. I draw a lot of long hairs, but this time I decided to do a short one. So add more variety to my collection. This collection include uh, six different girls. So we wanna give them different personality background, culture, all that stuff. So this one is gonna be, it's, it's the short hair girl. And then next I'm gonna color her feature. Eyeball first. And then next, is I'm using the this very thin, uh, like a outliner pen to outline her eyes. And in the end of the eyes, I like to make it thicker, so it's it's like she's wearing a, like a eyeliner. And the corner of the eyes are thinner. And then I like to add a big and a curl eyelashes. So open the eyes up. I 
Thank you, bestie. This way. And then I'm gonna do the other side at the same time. Same thing, the, it's thicker in the, in the end of the eyes. This one because she has a hair band, so it'll be harder to draw this eye. Add some bottom like this, and then draw her eyebrow out. Eyebrows is very important. Okay. And then I will just outline the nose. I don't add much uh, detail on the nose. Just like emphasize, this is the nose. And then for the mouth, I do love to add uh, some sort of uh, like a lip color to it. And I like to draw her smiley. I'm gonna add a, a red lip to her. I think I drawed her lip. I think I'm using this pen to see if I can cover it. And then I'll also use the white gel pen to do the highlight of the eyebrow. And then the lip. It's like she's wearing a, lipst a lipstick or lip gloss. Okay. So next, I'm going to color her. Color her outfit. The whole body looks like this. So I'm. I'm. I have a vision that she's wearing like a turtleneck, gray sweater. Uh dark gray jeans and some a plaid uh, like a coat and a glove and boots so that's my concept but before i go on i want to i want to make sure sh her face is has shadows so I usually add a darker skin color tone under her eyebrow. And then over here, on the side of the face, because that's where close to the, close to the hair, create a shadow, and then the neck. So that way the face is pop uh, or like not pop like a more front and neck is behind add some shadow under the hair and under the nose under the lip here that's some major area to add a shadow we can also use the outliner. Like to outline the face out a little more.
when the doing the head too. this so I'm um, might as well to to draw hair a little more I'm using the outline to draw the hair mostly is to add a loose strain to the hair so it's not looks so stiff so basically just add some random but makes sense the hair strain onto the color like this so now I can move on to do the hair, to do the clothes. I'm using Copic marker. Oh, I leave it up. So I'm using Copic marker for this, for most of my drawings. I'm gonna use, draw a, Gray sweater. What's the marker? Please say hi. <laughs> hi. I didn't see all your comment. <laughs> I was drawing. Um, so the marker is called uh, Copic. Copic sketch. And this is the marker I use most time. I also use this one. Touch. They both are very good. I also use some um, marker I got just randomly but honestly I use everything I mix everything they all the same to me but I just uh, buy Copic the most because you can they sell the refill ink so if you run out you can refill it They have a lot of uh, different colors you can choose. When I draw the pants, which is a dark gray color. I mentioned earlier before the live, oh, in the earlier of the live, I'm going for um, like a British I England Island vibe, which is more like darker with the plaid uh, style. So, so I'm gonna t to do a dark gray jeans. I think this is dark enough. And then she wear a black bell. So when you see it does have those like strokes, that's why I never just draw one layer. I always draw a couple layers back and forth, so that way the 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 you know those straw streak stroke thing doesn't show much if I draw a couple times. 
so we kind of like cover it. And then draw the other side. So when you draw people, um, one way to remember is the pose. Always there's one one leg that's hold most of your body weight. The other leg is the secondary leg we call in school. One leg is the sub support leg the other one is the secondary so you can see from like picture or magazine you can analyze which leg is for practice purpose you can see which leg is supportive which leg is secondary it's, unless this person is like standing like a soldier <laughs> then both of his leg will be um supportive leg that's why from that's what i mean from my drawing this particular pose this is the support leg and this one is a secondary leg this one also more tricky because it's kind of ran out of uh, ink so i need to change to a different change to a different uh, marker so i recently bought this uh, this is the refill of the Copic marker, so it's called a Copic ink. So basically you can buy all their colors, and then if any of the color you have ran out of ink, you just use this to refill it. So it's pretty convenient. But I haven't opened yet. I'm gonna open to fill my ink. One is kind of out of ink too. You see, I I just use marker. I mix them. I'm not very particular with the, which brand is better. So at this uh, stage, it just takes a little patience to blend the the um, the jeans area, so it looks more smooth, less of the the strokes that does not look good. So you see, it's less. It looks more smooth now. And then I'm going to use a black color to mark the, the outline of the ink. Use a black color to go on and like draw out the shadows and the outlines.
see and then just use the gray color to blend a little more. The upper leg, leg is lighter than the uh, knees and the calves. Okay, I think finally. And then for the upper spider. I'm going to add more shadows too. Then I'm just gonna draw a little bit like at the pattern on the sweater. Okay, this looks like a sweater, but I forgot to draw. Here is this, the knee and the ankle then her boots, so I'm going to draw her boots too. Shortly, I'm going to add, find my mermaid and the other two illustration for the fall and show you this, the collection I have so far. And that's the boots. See the hat and the boots are the same color. It's a habit of mine. I like to matchy, matchy. So there's always something. Um, for example, if her hat is her hat is this type of orangey color, her boots it will be too. And I'm gonna design her bag be the same. So they're always the color that corresponds with each other. That's a little coloring tip. If you also like draw and design your own color palette for your drawing, so that can be a tip that you will always have some sort of color matching each other. That make the drawing more cohesive. That's my little tip. What I find a that help with my drawing. So I'm going to do her like uh, the plaid jacket. The plaid is a little, it's a harder pattern to draw. Um, and I also will have to use a different pen to draw the pattern on top of Copic marker. As you see, I want to use really long stroke. I don't um, lift my pen until the end. That's again, I try to avoid the strokes, make the drawing more smooth. Oh yeah, I just hear the doorbell. That means that my Amazon order is here. <laughs> I ordered some new uh, pants, new color, uh, art supply stuff. So, uh, one of them, so I ordered a couple. One of the the pants are uh, neon color. So I'm looking forward to draw some uh, 
neon type of outfits, of course, for a different collection. But yeah, I'm excited to try. So as you see right now, I am color the base of the jacket um, before I put the pattern on. It's a little bit nerve wracking to draw plaid in front of people because <laughs> uh, I'm not a master of the plaid, but I do have a reference. I'm going to I'd find a plaid, uh, like a, a pattern, so I'm going to see how I inter in interpret in my style. Just want to make sure the base looks good before I add. Once I add on pattern, it will be harder to change the, the base. So and also, if you're curious what paper I use, I use this paper. Let me show you. I like to draw big, so I'm using the this paper the Bristol Starmore paper. That's the paper I use. Okay, so I'm going to draw the pattern on top. So like large gray area. I'm gonna color this part. Then I'm going to color this part. Like again, I, it's drawing a plaid, so you want to start with a large, larger area first. Let's wish, I, let's hope I can draw it well today because not always it turn out good. Oh, uh, I like to draw traditional. I don't do much of digital art, I probably should. But I, I do digital, but not as well as uh, the physical ones. Then I'm going to draw the the vertical pattern here. Draw another line like this. I'm going to color, draw another vertical line here. And 
then a smaller, a thinner line across here. Okay. Then we need to do the other side. I'm gonna do the other this way. Thank you, Anna Tell Tella Arts. And then the bottom part. Right now, I'm showing and I'm drawing the a plaid, plaid jacket or a coat. So I'm just slowly map out the pattern. Uh, for this, you definitely like. For me, I'm not familiar with plaid. <laughs> I don't wear many plaid stuff. So. I I found a reference, so I'm drawing like following the plaid pattern looks like. So it's is one hundred percent okay to find a reference to draw from picture or to however will help you with your drawing. So art is really a observation game. So the more you observe, the more you draw. Your brain will remember, like when I first start drawing girls, drawing human, I really really bad. But the more I draw, my brain just automatically remember all this important information, and same as everything else. So if I draw plaid every day, I don't need a reference, but. Since I don't, I draw barely draw a plaid. That's why it's perfectly fine to find reference to help you draw. So I'm going to now. I have a basic pattern. Now I'm going to add, a, like the the plaid actually, like a line stuff like that. So I have a few options. I usually do this one out. So one thing I usually draw in on top of marker because like I'm not able to use marker on top. It's not gonna show. So I use something like this. Those are like a pen pen. I want to know what they called paint marker. So it's called paint marker, opaque. So those will work if you draw on top of those. So, but I haven't used for a while. Not sure how well those marker gonna work. I see. It's always an experiment. I'm gonna draw an orange line on top. It doesn't show because the marker maybe it's too for too long. But let me try the other one. I 
have those um, postcard type same similar type of thing. So let's see how this will do. It shows a little, you see? So I'm gonna stick with this. You know, if if you don't have those paint or something, the easiest way to to do it just use gouache. Just use gouache or acrylic paint on top of them. That will work for you. I would use gouache if I'm not uh, live so I can like find my paint and um, use gouache. I love gouache. The downside is it takes a long time to finish one to to draw. But I have my favorite art uh supply is gouache so but this one works okay so i'm just gonna stick with this i'm brazilian english later <laughs> hi i would love to visit brazilian english is not so not my first language i'm from china but I live in U.S., so I'm, I'm a full-time artist in the U.S., but uh, I'm from China, born and raised in China. I love TikTok, too. That's a good thing that, you know, you find me from this little app that you live in Brazil. That's really cool. So slowly but surely this plaid pattern gonna happen. I know it. So this side. And then I'm gonna do the other side too. I love watch other artists draw. So I also watch live for, of other artists page to see different artists to draw differently, use different type of tool. It's amazing to learn from others. Next time um, when I come, I want to use gouache or, mat or, or like watercolor. You use pencil, nice, pencil is great. I started with pencil. Pencil is like the foundation of everything. done with the orange pattern once it's dry then I can add more stuff right now it's still pretty wet okay okay let's wait dry um, right now I'm going to add the white, white color on top. Hope the price car color works. I'm going to add white on the side of this. Mm -hmm. 
That's why it's very hard to draw a to draw a plaid because there's like a thousand lines. Don't paint for fashion draw. So you wish to um, fashion drawing watercolor. It's fun. You should try it. So we're not going to draw any vertical because waiting for this, uh, the orange to dry. Once it's dry, I can add. But right now, I'm going to add the horizontal ones. Yeah, I used to have um, watercolor to paint. It's a lot of fun. I like it, but it's a harder it's a harder medium to use for sure than like a marker or a pencil. So yeah, it does takes practice, but uh, it has beautiful look. So. I'm adding more lines. I'm gonna add, uh, I think I can add the vertical now. Still kind of wet. I'm gonna skip the orange. I think it looks like a plaid. Hey, yeah, this is a good line. You wanna make out cut or you wanna draw or you wanna um make like a fashion designer or fashion draw because a lot of people draw fashion because they wanna be a designer they wanna actually make it make it to draw make it to make a design clothes or something and for me I just like to draw I have no interested to make clothes um i enjoy the design part so i'm gonna It's a really good pen. I, I recommend if you can get this pen. Um, it's very, very well. It's very fluid. Like I can draw from top to the bottom without run out of ink. So, recommend. I like the the plate plate I do uh, maybe add a, one more line down here okay so now I'm going to draw the back the back of the jacket
That's the back of the inside. Here too. Cool. So now I'm going to finish her belt. And then her, her gloves, as well as the little bag. Isabella dress so pretty, my favorite character. You think Louisa? I love Louisa too. You know her the song that um, that she sing in the movie is so beautiful. I love that song, and I love her too. I guess you were watching my videos on TikTok. Yeah. I should draw her too, but Isabella, most people request to draw Isabella. She's the perfect one. Gonna do her, draw her uh, glove. So I'm going to draw her glove as a gray color. Like I mentioned earlier, if you are unsure what color to pick for your drawing, pick something in your color palette already. Um, that will make your drawing more cohesive. So she's wearing like, could say a leather glove. So. Cause it's cold in England. I'm pretty much uh, almost finished, but the last th thing I'm going to do is to um, outline. So I would say outline is a very important thing because it's really gonna bring your sketch uh, to another level. So I usually use different type of uh, like a different size of uh, outliner to do my outlines thicker thinner so that's how i'm going to do the best outliner i've ever used is this pigma fine brush it has this brush tip um, which is very good because you can do thin line and thicker line as you depends on how much strength you add on huh? so i'm going to do the outline part which is i think the most important part to make a good drawing is you have to have good outline You can see, I will get it closer. So you can see what I'm outlining. Like your outline should have thicker and thin, so it's more variety.
Don't really talk when when I'm doing outline because I'm very focused right now. Also need to add a logo on the belt. at the belt maybe I'll add some neck uh, earring too so add some fashion and then Continue my outline journey. <laughs> I'm going to show you a trick shortly after I outline this part. Today, all my pens are out of ink. But I have a thousand of these pens, so... I have a lot of backups. Let me show you my trick after this. To make black jeans more uh, fun, because black jeans sometimes be just you know kind of boring. So what I do is I like to use the white jelly pen. Where's my white jelly pen? And then I add to like add like white seam on the pants. So. It bring, bring out little bit details on the black pants, so it's not that boring. So basically, it's one of my little trick to not so boring to be just the black jeans. Thank 
you. So darn pretty. <laughs> Thank you. That's my goal to make the drawing pretty. Um, I think I'm pretty much finished. So this is my final. Oh, one of the most important thing for all artists, you need to um, sign. So every time after you finish a drawing, please sign your name. It's very important. So I always sign my name after I finish. So all artists, please sign your name after the drawing. So that's my, like, you know, one of the girl. If you wait me for two, five seconds, let me bring my mermaid. I have a closet <laughs> of drawing. I should uh, start have um, have a, like a original art sale, some sort of. Thank you, SG. So nice, thanks. So this one, let me show you the mermaid. Woohoo! That's the one I did yesterday. I was thinking to go on live to draw, but. I made it into like a, I, instead of I filmed it, made it into a TikTok video instead. So I love this one because I had like silver metallic and she has this purple, purple-ish um, hair. And I love this part. I had a little different because initially I thought I was just gonna do blue all the way, but I thought mm, maybe let's do something different. So I did this part. I love all this little pearl or, you know, those accessories on her. So she's my first mermaid. So I'm doing more mermaid into, making into a different collection. But I love this first one I did. And then I'm gonna show you this one. I also did her name is Iris. She is the god of uh, rainbow. So I did this for LGBTQ month. So this month is Pride Month. So I did this one. And then I also did a couple, like last week I did the Alice in Wonderland. So for this one, I use a little, uh, like a, what's that called? I don't know what that called. <laughs> glitter some sort of thing to spark the dress and then I add some uh, like 3d paper flower so I like the little I like the subtle embellishment to add on my drawing I think that makes the the drawing more unique the original so that's that one And I did uh, this girl, she is a witch. So this one I did on, um, I did on TikTok live. Also did this one, it's a live, live drawing. And this one is, call, I call her like a forest fairy. So I, I, this one, I inspired by Poison Ivy. If you know Poison Ivy, she has the red hair, the ivy all around her, but I want to do something my version. So this is my version of Poison Ivy. Again, like add some um, glitter, but some are fall, fall off. But I like to add embellishment for my drawings. Now what else I can try? This is one of my newest favorite. It's called the Moon Goddess. Selene, so this one is the moon goddess. 
I draw. So I love the silver, silver metallic on her. She just looks so beautiful. And I love this purple or blue lipstick on her. She has purple eyes, if you see closer. And her crown, of course. So, let me see. So this is two of the fall collection I did during in TikTok Live. This is one also very, uh, it is very like New England preppy style. This is another it's like a fall farm girl. Go pick up the apple picking style. And this one is the new one. So for today, that's what I did today. So I, so far I have three for fall girl. This one and this one. I all did during Instagram, uh, TikTok live. So it was fun to draw during live. And then what else I have? Oh, I want to show you this Medusa. I also love this one. This is a Medusa. Add some rhinestone on her top. So I love this one too. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and join the live. I look forward to come back and uh, draw with you again. Bye.